Morgan loads it up. Down the middle. Wide open Johnson. Tyler Johnson. Touchdown. He torched Smoke Monday on a 73-yard touchdown. P.J. Fleck and the Gophers, 31-24 in the Outback Bowl upset. For the senior, Tyler Johnson, for the Golden Gophers, our Capital One player of the game, a Minnesota Bowl record. He's got more receiving touchdowns than anybody in Gopher history, Rob. We challenged every one of our players before. If you want to be a blue blood, you got to beat blue bloods. We used to be a blue blood back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. We want to restore that tradition. Co Big Ten West champs, and then now out bowl back champs. And I think that's a credit to our players for all the things they've been through. And guys like Tyler Johnson, who decided to stay for his senior year, just means so much. So um, very honored, very proud of our staff, very proud of our players and our university. And uh, I'll open up for questions. Well, first of all, uh, he's going to leave here the greatest receiver in the history of the University of Minnesota. Uh, and that's no disrespect to Ron Johnson. I think Ron would back me up. I think Eric Decker would back me up. He joins that list, and I think he's proven, whether it's touchdowns or yards or catches, that he's the ultimate wide receiver here. Uh, and I think this shows when, when young people make really smart decisions, well-thought-out, educated decisions of when to come back, this is an example. That's one of the best teams in the country defensively, and he just had 200 and what do you have? 204 yards with two touchdowns. All right. Uh, he just showed what he could do with 12 catches, 204, and two touchdowns against one of the best defenses in the country. So we were talking about getting him drafted and where he's going. He showed that. And we didn't have a chance to do that last year. Okay. So now we have a chance to show that. And he came back, had a phenomenal year, trained really hard, matured a lot. And all he did was help his draft status, help his team. North Minneapolis should be very proud of him. Being able to do what I do here in Minnesota um, is really just indescribable. To see the people in my community so happy for me, words can't describe that feeling. North was about to close down because a lot of students started going to the suburb schools. I think at one point we were at like at 89 total kids in this school, so Tyler was one of those kids that he could have went anywhere. And I said, dude, you know, I would love to have you. I know I don't really have much of a resume, but if you stay home, you know, maybe this other kids like you will stay here. So it was big for him to, you know, say, you know, yeah, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to play. And then we, we started building from there. I feel that Tyler Johnson is a huge reason, not only to my success, but the rebuild and, and, and the excitement in this community. Because it gives every young man like Tyler Johnson in this area that came from here hope. Each year now it's like, well, hey, Tyler Johnson did it. Why not me? You can be the next who you are because of what Tyler has started here. And we all are very proud of him and what he's brought to our university um, and the type of person he is, the type of man he is, and the type of pro he was. Um, and he's got his degree, and I'm very, very proud of him of where, what he's going to do in the future. And like I said, I think he's the greatest receiver ever to play here. Well, he sure is consistent. And people say, hey, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. 12 catches, 204 yards, two touchdowns, and everybody's going to look at that game. Every NFL scout, every NFL wide receiver coach, every GM, every president, every owner is going to watch that game. That's the one they're going to watch. End zone. That would have been a wild grab for Johnson, but he was out of bounds. Oh, no. They say touchdown. Unreal if he got that foot in. And look what he just did. I mean, he's going to be a great asset to any program. He works really hard. He's a team guy. He's a culture guy. And he's, he's unique. And he's trained in a very unique program and culture. And the best advice I gave, I gave him is be you and be the culture. And you will stand out like a sore thumb in a positive way in the National Football League. And when you stand out in a positive way in the National Football League, people love that. And it's like the more you do, or the better person you are, and the more team and culture guy you are, the longer those people stay in the NFL. He's going to have a very long career in the NFL. I wish him all the best. He's standing right there. Uh, I thank him because he didn't have to do what he did. 
And when you have players that do that, and that's your second year coaching, and they've had three coaches and three different cultures, and he decides to stay and do that, and he sets the example for so many because it was his decision. Nobody forced him to stay. He'd made an educated decision, got all the paperwork, didn't let anybody get into his head and give him bad advice. He got the right advice from the people he loves, from the people he trusts, made a decisive decision, said, this is my decision. And this just shows when you get the right decision and he makes the right decision because the educated decision, positive things happen. Yep, listen, I appreciate all of our fans. Thank you very much. Roll the boat, Scotty Mago Gophers.